Responding to a surprising video posted to social media showing the driver of a city recycling truck not only pick up the recycling bin, but then also the garbage bin in one trip. Yeah, it's something that has proved to be upsetting to those who recycle. Now, we took those concerns to the city, and tonight the city telling us it was an honest mistake. Our Bill Churchwell reports. Imagine taking the time out of your day to painstakingly wash and separate your recyclables from your trash. Just to watch this happen. Friday means trash and recycling day on this Padre Island street, but this driver is about to make a big mistake. He's been tasked with picking up recyclables, but if you take a closer look, the can being lifted is green. That's trash. Uh, he had an oh no moment. David Leifeld with Solid Waste Services looked into the matter and said that the driver was a floater who was assigned to help with the recycling routes. Yesterday he was on trash, today recyclables. And he just messed up. It was one of those honest oh, oh no moments. He realized what he'd done, switched over to the recycle and went on about collecting the recycle. The video shows the driver going on to grab the blue can, that's recyclables, and dumping it into the same truck, mixing the contents together. Posted to social media by the resident, he tells 3 News, like many others, he spends a lot of time making sure he follows the city's rules when it comes to sorting out the trash. Thankfully, Layfield says in the end, the mix-up doesn't mess up anything about what's being collected. It gets to the recycle facility. They will dump it on the floor. They run it through the sorting process. And at that point, they remove that trash and all the rest of the trash that our customers put in it. In the last year, Solid Waste Services has picked up a little over 10,500 tons of recyclable material. That's 40 tons a day. When the recycling program first started, about 42% of what was collected was actually trash. And while it still happens, the amount of non-recyclables that end up being mixed in has been cut almost in half. He hopes this incident doesn't discourage others from doing their part to recycle. We will learn from our mistakes, and this is one of the things going forward we will work to ensure it doesn't happen again. Bill Churchwell, 3 News. All right, Bill, thank you so much.